Good morning, Lancers. This is Mr. Smith with another episode of Lancer Life, and joining us today is a former Lancer, Tyler Owen, who is currently working uh, with the United States Navy. So, good morning, Tyler. How are you doing? Good. And yourself? Uh, it's, it's been a while. It's always, it's always good to come back to Lakeside. Yeah. So, talk a little bit about your experience at Lakeside. What was it like being here? You were part of that uh, first freshman class that was here. What was kind of like your take on being here at Lakeside? Um, I enjoyed it. It was, it was a great experience. Um, you know, it was a brand new school, brand new football program. Um, a lot of opportunities, a lot of AP classes, and some, some great teachers that kind of helped me become what I am today. So talk about uh, your experience with the football program. You know, what was the football program like back in those days? And, and what kind of things did you guys accomplish uh, in that time period? Um, the program was just starting, so it was new. So we took, we took our lumps. Um, I had a lot of great teammates. The, the bonds that we developed over time and the best experience was probably our senior year um, homecoming game. We beat West Valley when they were undefeated. Um, it, was, it was a good experience. And I, for me, I went on to play college football. So I still had that opportunity. You know, we had a, a program that just started and we had a lot of people that went on to further their careers like Brandon Guerrero, um, myself, and then Brandon Haskins went on to have a successful uh, NAI college experience. So. so talk about the college that you did choose um, and what your experience was like going out of state to go to college and playing football at college. Um, so I went to, I got, I got a scholarship offer. Um, it was kind of neat. Uh, some of my teammates got the offer too to go play um, in Kansas City, Missouri, uh, Division II school, uh, William Jewell College. Um, being from California, you know, you don't know what to expect. You always, you kind of always worry and you get comfortable staying in California. So um, going out of state was a new challenge in itself, but there's so much more out there and the, the friendships I made there. And not only was I getting to do something that I love to do and playing football, um, I was able to get my education, which was mo most important. So what did you get your degree in and what did you, uh, how did you use that degree to further uh, your career opportunities? Um, so I, I graduated with a, a Bachelor of Science in uh, Business Administration and uh, Psychology. Um, and from there, after I graduated college, um, I got a job as a sales rep out in Kansas City, Missouri. I was doing that for about a year and a half, and uh, after that, it, was just, it wasn't rewarding enough for me, so I ended up uh, putting in a package to join the military and commission as an officer in the United States Navy. So what specifically do you do with the, with the Navy? You're, you're stationed on a submarine, uh, you're stationed in, in uh, the state of Maine. Yep. Talk about uh, your experience in, in doing that there, uh, I mean, basically on the other end of the country and, and being involved in, in those types of things. Um, so I'm stationed in Kittery, Maine right now. Uh, our, our submarine's in a dry dock going through a availability period. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm a supply officer on board where my degree of business administration comes in hand. So I handle, deal with the logistics and food service to support the crew and to help bring up crew morale when I get a chance. And every job you take or even just in school or going out of state to go to school, you're going to have that adversity. And it's just, it's how you react. It kind of sounds cliche, but it's just, it's, it's the way you look at it. And you know, there's two things you can affect in your life every day, and that's your, your effort and your attitude. And that's really helped me become what I am today. So if you had a piece of advice to give to um, students that are currently going to Lakeside High School and maybe thinking about what their future holds for them, what piece of advice would you give those students? Um, I would say venture out. Don't, don't let fear hold you back because there's, there's so much, it's, in society, we get kind of caught in that, that bubble. We get caught in being comfortable. Don't, don't be scared to be uncomfortable because there's so much more out there than just where you're at right now in life. Well, thank you very much, Tyler, for coming in today and, and sharing with, uh, with our students uh, an update on um, where you're at. And, and also, uh, I'm sure that there's some staff members that, are, that are, want to kind of see Remember yeah. you from the past and so. and that type of thing. So and then also letting our students know that you know there's there is a world outside of Lake Elsinore yes. and we want them to kind of 
start to look at their options once they graduate from high school. So yeah. again, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you for having me, it was a pleasure. Right. Thank you.